level by level gaming and this is going to be my first video series on hearthstone now i typically focus on retro gaming but i have been playing this game for a while especially on my phone on the mobile version of it as soon as that came out and i do enjoy it so um first of all let me say i'm not a legend rank player um i typically reach ranks three four uh i can consistently get at least to rank five in a season if i'm playing and focusing on ranked play most of the time i'm just playing for fun i do enjoy experimenting making my own decks uh, that kind of thing clearing my quest uh, building a card catalog but for this series i have decided to uh, just put together my wins from rank 15 to rank 5 on the wild ladder i do play more wild than i do standard so if you go in here and you look at my collection i don't have anything built at the moment so the player or the character that i decided to use this season for my ladder run was the paladin and out of all the time i've been playing the game i played the paladin more than i've played any other character and i really just enjoyed using this guy um he's had his good seasons his bad seasons uh, where he's been a top ranked player or character to choose or um, sometimes he really hasn't done very well at all but i seem to do pretty decent this season with the paladin so in order to get my base for my ladder run here, what I decided to do is I decided to go to Internet Explorer or Firefox, uh, pulled up Google and went to Hearthstone Top Decks. Now this is just one of the sites where you can get a copy and paste standard archetype deck that people are using in the ladder. And here on top decks, if you go down to their standard or top standard meta decks, one of the first ones here is the Silver Hand Dude Paladin. So that meets my needs. It's a paladin, it's a base, it's something I can build from for my wild rank or wild ladder run. Once I get this Silver Dude Paladin deck list here, you can go through each one of these cards, uh, such as Lost in the Jungle, Called to Arms. You can read these. You can look at the card, see what it looks like, see if you have that card, and just go through the list here. These are all standard available cards. Um, Knife Juggler, that is a awesome card in this deck. Um, Vine Cleaver, Level Up, I mean, Flooding the board with 1-1 Silverhand Recruits is the name of the game with this deck. Once you go through and you see what cards that it has, um, if you have the majority of them, if you're able to get those cards, craft them, do whatever you need to do, uh, you can copy the deck list here. You can also go down and you can read about the strategy for this deck, um, the win rates, there's also comments down here. But the most important thing, especially if you're like me, you're not super familiar with the Dude Paladin setup, is you're going to want to know your priority keeps and your low priority, like your higher priority and lower priority keeps. Understand this so you got a general idea how to play or how to at least get started with this deck and then just build your experience from there. So once you've got that deck code copied, you can go back into your Hearthstone app or your Hearthstone game here and you can create a new deck and it will say do you want to copy from your clipboard and I'm gonna say yes and now it's going to take this standard dude paladin populate all the cards into my deck list here and if there's anything that I don't have it's going to highlight in gray and I can kick that out uh, or craft what it needs or kick that card out and find a suitable replacement for that so if you don't have all the cards and you can't make them you can um, play with it a little bit but this is the straight standard dude so that is my standard dude paladin I'm not going to mess with this at all I'm gonna leave it exactly how it comes and so learning this deck 
using this as a base, I played in the wild format and I did very well from rank 15 to rank 12 before I kind of hit a wall and had to start playing around with it. So this deck standard, just as it is, did just fine in the early part of my wild rank or my wild um, ladder run. So once I hit that wall, what I decided to do was just make a copy of this standard here, create a whole nother deck, let it go through and populate. Once it does that, I'm gonna rename this guy. I'm gonna call him Wild Dude. Once I do that, um, oops, I was trying to chat. So once I do that, I am going to convert it to wild. And now it's going to open up all my cards um, that I have available to me. And I'm going to be able to pull some of these standard cards and drop in some wild format cards. So um, I've experimented, you know, left some things in, pulled some things out. And what I'm going to show you is just kind of like a, a small base or a small picture of some of the things I've done. I can't quite remember all the ways I've tweaked it on and off through this ladder run, but this is typically what I run in this deck. So Argent Squire, as good of a card as it is, um, I do drop both of the Argent Squires out and I do drop in a shielded mini bot in its place. Um, that is, to me, just the better divine shield drop and it also synergizes very well with your call to arms so you can get two of those out on the board by just dropping one of these cards and it seemed to work much better than the argent squire once i drop those out i am going to drop one of these lost in the jungle cards out in exchange for the muster for battle and that will round out that curve just a little bit and it gives you a great three drop where you get your silver hand recruit so you're still flooding the board and you get a one one weapon this card works great against other small minion uh, buff like your token druid or your fellow um, dude paladin because if you can get that out before they do you can take out their small minions and leave your small minions on the board so drop that out, replace it with the muster for battle. Let's see here, keep that, keep both of those, keep him. Definitely keep a quality because you can pull out some crazy wins. If you have a board that is flooded with small 1-1 minions, you can give them divine shield, hit the uh, enemies with equality, take them all out and still leave your small minions on the board. So quality is a definite keep. Knife juggler, absolutely gotta keep that. Now, Divine Favor, card draw is important in this deck because you want to get your buffs and you want to flood the board. But what I found in my wild run is I wanted some more late game. I wanted to round out the curve here. So in exchange for these, I just dropped these out to clear up some room so I can put some wild cards in here and get some more late game because that's what this very aggressive early game deck struggle so hard with so once I drop those out gain a couple more slots here we're gonna go through and um, let's see what I want to pick up in its place oh we will definitely want to have one of these quartermasters because the quartermaster just goes so well with this flooded board concept I mean he really compounds with your um, stand against the darkness anything your muster for battle once you have that board flooded if you can hit that especially if you hit on turn four you can adapt your silver hand recruits back to back hit him with the quartermaster and you can just turn your one one minions into a devastating board for your opponent you can also um, compound him with the Sun Keeper. Once the Sun Keeper buffs up all your Silver Hand recruits, if you hit him after that, so there would be 3-3, three, three, and then that would turn them all into 5-5s. Five, so Quartermaster is a definite keep in this wild deck. I am going to drop one of these Rallying Blades, even though it's great for all the Divine 
Divine Shield Minions. I do want that extra slot. Now, I don't have any card draw, and I got a lot of early game, and I got a lot of flood options. I have two slots available. So what I'm gonna do is round out my end game. And what I found for me work the best is I'm going to drop in a Dr. Boom. Um, he's just a good minion for me in this style that I play in late game. So you have your big minion, your two small minions. You can hit one of his big minions, hit the enemy directly to the face, and um, then drop your Sun Keeper and turn the mini bots back into three threes. I mean, there's just a lot that it seems like you can do with this. And those mini bots can go around taunt minions and hit the enemy hero directly to the face. It just seems like it works pretty well. And finally, the uh, biggest late minion game that I found I've just got some crazy wins off of is Ragnaros. Now, Ragnaros is not expected. When you're playing somebody, they don't really think that you're going to drop something like this, at least what I've found. And you can get them beat down with your board. They can wipe all of your minions off the board they have to continually use their uh, abilities to clear the board to keep all your small minions out you hit them with Ragnaros and I, I've like I said I've pulled out some late game victories out of nowhere with Ragnaros so I just drop him in just for fun and it works pretty well and it rounds out this wild deck so now I have taken the standard dude and I have turned him into the wild dude once I've done that I will convert I've already converted over to wild I just renamed him wild dude and there you go you have a wild deck that has been built off of a standard deck. And that's just how I went about it. And I seem to have pretty good success with it. Now, something you can also do with this standard, there are buff cards like the Bone Mare that synergizes well with your Flood type decks. And you also have things like your Fungal Mancer that will buff up whatever you have on the board, uh, give both sides of it two plus two, or both adjacent minions two plus two. They work well with that. They also, I've played with putting them in the wild dude deck as well. So just go through, get your base. If you're gonna play wild, tweak it however you want and go from there. So this has been my video on how to build my standard dude deck and then my wild dude deck. And from now on, the videos are gonna be gameplay from rank 15 to rank five using first of all the standard deck until I hit the wall at a rank about rank 12 and then the rest of the games I'm going to be playing with my wild dude variants. Thank you for watching and please follow me into that series.